The new version of the H9 Control app supports space, pitch factors, and mod factors in addition to any H9. Time factor support is coming soon, concurrent to the release of the new Looper, which we are currently working on. Today, we're going to update a space, and we'll show you how. First, go to the Eventide website, and from the Support tab, select the H9 page. Here, you can download the most recent version of the H9 Control app. Then, you can take an A to B USB cable to connect your stomp box to your computer. Before attempting an update, make sure you're connected to the internet so the Eventide Direct Updater can access the latest Stompbox software. We recommend that you back up all your presets before any software upgrade. You'll need to put your Stompbox into update mode. You can do this by unplugging the power, holding down the center foot switch, and then plugging the power back in. You'll see the word update will flash on the screen. Next, launch the H9 Control application. When you launch the app, you'll first get a message prompting you to update your Stompbox software. This is required for the H9 control to be compatible with your Stompbox. So here it recognizes the serial number of the space pedal we have plugged in, and I'm going to press update now. And now it launches the Eventide Direct Uploader, which will allow you to install the new software. If you want, at this point, you can revert back to a previous version of the software, but to be compatible with the H9 control, select the most recent version. And in this column here, it's, uh, it tells you if it's supported by H9 control. So we'll select this one and press Install Update. Also, you can see up here the serial number of the stomp box you have plugged in. First, you'll see that it's erasing the current software on your Stompbox, and then it'll install the new software.